Hello everybody, uh, I'm back again with another uh, ROM review. Uh, this one here is um, Team UB, uh, that's, uh, that stands for uh, Team uh, Unofficial Build, um, and this is the Nexus 6. Uh, Team UB uh, had left uh, for a while um, because of uh, some, some issues going on, um, and they finally did come back, and it is kind of like in a limited number situation. I think that they are supporting uh, about three devices, three or four devices. Um, luckily, the Nexus 6 is one of them. I'm going to get right into the build. Uh, it is Android 5.1.1, um, and the uh, build number is, um, let me see here. Well, it's, uh, it is, uh, September 26th, I'm pretty sure, yeah, okay, um, I, I, I love Team UB, uh, it is a very, very, uh, customizable ROM, uh, it's got a lot of great things in it, um, I do want to go to, um, uh, about phone, I want to go to my themes, and I want to go back to the theme that comes with it so that you guys can see what you're going to get uh, when you first apply it on your phone. Go status bar. And uh, nav bar. Home. Okay, uh, we're going to go into settings. Um, developer options. Let you guys see uh, what's in the developer options. Uh, it does come uh, with Super User pre-installed. Uh, let's see here. I'm I'm gonna try to pick uh, what is different um, and not kind of go over what uh, what we all know uh, and come to love about uh, Lollipop. Um, I don't think there's much in the uh, language and input that's different. Uh, advanced settings. This is where you're going to go to get your app circle, your um, your clock widget, your app bar, uh, gesture anywhere, your uh, lock screen settings, and your recents panels, and your screen and animation settings. Uh, your app bar, of course, uh, is a bar... Uh, along the left or right side of your screen that you can set up for quick access to apps. Uh, your circle app bar is the same thing, only in a circle mode, which is the one that I use uh, for the most part. When you touch it, uh, the apps that you put it or include in it will show in a, uh, a circle like that. I am going to shut it off for now so I don't inadvertently... Uh, Hit it while we're going through this. Um, your clock widget is just what it says. Uh, this is where you go to set up your uh, your clock and alarm, uh, weather panel, stuff like that. That's your weather panel. And your calendar events, if you so choose. Uh, let's see. Your gesture anywhere is exactly what it means. Uh, it is included. You can set that up. Here are your lock screen settings, uh, lock screen weather. Uh, this is how I have mine set up, but it allows you to pretty much customize everything. If you like ROMs um, like uh, Bliss uh, and you know ROMs in that category that are very highly customizable, you will love this ROM. Like I said, this used to be one of my favorite ROMs, um, and it was discontinued because... Um, they were getting no support from the people that were flashing their ROMs and other reasons. Um, but, uh, you know, it, there was such a, a demand for it um, that they, they decided to bring it back, uh, again, in, in a limited number of devices. This is your recent panel settings. And screen animations. The only thing I don't see on here is the scrum 
animations. I'd like to see that on here at some point in time. Uh, and it may eventually get here, or it may not. Some uh, developers just do not feel like uh, throwing that on there. The three-finger gesture does work. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of that. Uh, let's see here. That was location. Privacy is going to be where you get your privacy guard. Uh, stuff like that. Your whisper push. You can set that up. Uh, kind of like push bullet. Uh, location settings, privacy, I uh, went over that already. Notification drawer, uh, the, these are the tiles I have selected, which are quite a few. And here are the tiles that I have not selected. So this ROM has quite a few tiles to pick and choose from. I love that in a ROM. I love choice. This one, this ROM comes with a lot of choice. Uh, what's cool about this is that you can change the look of the colors. The way I have my quick settings set up right now with like a clear semi-transparent background uh, with the icons colored uh, and the uh, the um, the lettering colored is set up right here. Uh, I have my background set uh, to a bluish color um, but uh, I do have it set with um, the see-through Availability with it. Uh, let's move on. This is where you would go for your launchers. This bar. Uh, there are your, your clock settings, your date settings. Uh, you can set your color up, font size. Uh, what's really cool is you can actually change your font size to make your clock as big as you want. Uh, you can take it up to 20 if you want, although I think that's a little too big. Um, that's about the size I want on mine. I do have my battery shut off uh, because I'm running the 3-minute battery mod, um, but it's there, uh, and those are the different settings you can use. Battery bar options, thank you very much. Uh, one of my favorite uh, options, custom options, uh, to have in a ROM. Again, when I usually download a ROM, this is what I'm looking for. This is one of the options that I like to have. Um, if it doesn't have this option, yes, I can download an app from the Play Store called Battery Bar Pro, uh, and I use that a lot. Um, if the ROM is that good, that it's only missing this, uh, this will not hold me back anymore. But I like to see that it's included. Uh, normally when something is baked into the ROM like this, it runs much, much better. Uh, you can change your carrier label if you want. Uh, I like that it includes the weather temperature placement. You can put it on right, left, center. Uh, I do like this option. It's uh, fairly new in Lollipop. I hope they keep it. Uh, these are the rest of your settings. Uh, under security, uh, there are your security settings. Basic. Uh, it does have the audio effect. Um, I, I do kind. Of, I really do like this app. It works very, very well. Your buttons. Uh, this is where your nav bar buttons and your hard uh, your hard buttons are set up. Uh, I I appreciate that they allow you to tint your uh, your buttons. Um, and they do also have uh, the dimension layout here, and I'm going to show you. A lot of people are really uh, concerned with uh, the height and width, so 
So these are the dimensions they give you to mess with. I usually don't touch mine. I let it where it's at. I'm pretty good with it. Uh, you can uh, set up. I think this does have a uh, uh, the slim launcher. I don't or the, um, the your slim recents. I don't like to use that. Uh, I like the look of lollipop with the with the kind of Rolodex uh, look to it. Uh, here are your pie settings. Uh, if you want to uh, add Pi controls, it's as simple as turning them on. Uh, and then you go to your trigger options, figure where you want to put it at uh, to activate it. Uh, right now, it is um, the left screen border right there. So it is there. I do not use Pi uh, settings. Um, so I'm just going to turn it off. But it is there and it works very well. Uh, this is your power menu, and they have many, many features to choose from. Again, I like options, and this one gives you those options. Uh, here ends your lock screen settings. Um, you can change your wallpapers if you like. It does have the wall screen blur, uh, which is really cool. I like that effect. Um, it, but it's there if you want to use it. Uh, you can put your own owner info on. You just uh, you type in what you want. Um, like, uh, uh, I'll just put uh, Team UB on... Unofficial build. And then I would just click back and back. And now that would be on my lock screen. Team unofficial build. And make sure we're still recording. <laughs> uh, but that's how you would set that up. Notifications. Uh, here's where your heads up notification is at. Uh, you would turn that on to receive your notifications, your heads up notifications, and then you have your settings for that. I do not run heads up. I don't like it, just my preference. Uh, this also does this does come with the um, the dark UI, which I like. It allows you to. Uh, run a dark UI, say if you're not going to theme, uh, but you do want that uh, high contrast uh, in your settings drawer, that, that is where you would do it at, right there. Uh, they do have the settings for uh, the override custom colors, um, which would be, uh, in, you know, with themes or anything like that, um, that it will override that. Um, they do have the... Uh, switch theme manual or uh, you can have it to switch uh, in the uh, lighting conditions, you know, change uh, as it got darker or lighter, uh, the background would change. Uh, that is there. And uh, that is about it. Uh, under display, it's pretty much basic. Uh, they do have your LCD uh, density under display. If you want to change that, that's where you would change that. You would type in what you want and and, and probably reboot. Uh, they have cast screen. Oh, I guess your expanded desktops underneath there. Um, also, your notification lights. I just want to uh, uh, let you guys know that, yes, they are working very, very good on this ROM. I've had no issues at all with... Uh, uh, with the colors being wrong, um, when I get a message, it's I get a green light. Uh, if I have a missed call, it's a blue light. And yes, I get the red light for a voicemail. They do all uh, that also work uh, for the battery light for charging. Also, this has smart cover in case you want a cover on your phone that has the uh, the hole in it for uh, for peep view. Uh, the smart cover works. 
um, for, you know, it'll shut off uh, the screen whenever the cover closes uh, and everything like that. So that's there. And then under sounds is um, not much, uh, but I will say again that I just love the new lollipop builds. Uh, they just come with a plethora of notation sounds and tones. I just, I, I love uh, you, You'd have to have the same tone all the time or be um, constricted to a very, very uh, small uh, choice to choose from. Uh, I, I love it. Um, they actually have some pretty cool alarm uh, ringtones in this one, too. Um, the one I highly recommend if you want a very, very loud alarm would be the nuclear launch. Uh, that's definitely loud. Uh, it, it, it definitely, it absolutely wakes me up with no problems. Uh, this is your other sound options. And your advanced options. And that's going to be it. Um, I, I wrote a theme on here real quick. I was running the theme that was on here when I opened up was Berserker. Um, I'm going to, to try something a little different, I think. I think I've shown you guys pretty much most of these. Uh, let's go with Gant. And, no, you want, you know what, I'm going to mix it up this time. I'm going to go with the gradient style. And then I'm going to go with the neon colors status bar. And with that, I'm going to drop all the way down here and apply my Zenfone UI CM12 nav bar. Click for home and we are set to go. And the reason I chose the um, the neon colors for my status bar is because it uh, it changes my um, my Wi-Fi and my data icons up top. Uh, colors them. Instead of leaving them white uh, I kind of like I like as much themed as I can get themed. But that is pretty much it. Uh, that's the dialer on this theme, uh, on the gradient theme. I, I, it's, it's a really cool theme. Uh, contacts. Uh, that's the way they look. Um, I'm not sure if the calculator is done on this one or not. Let me look. Yo, oh, uh, calculator's done on it. Um, let's go Google Play Store. What the Play Store looks like. Uh, settings. Uh, that's one thing I don't, don't like. Um, you're going to be able to read the settings very much. I can read it, um, but I think they need to work on that. I think I'm going to send them an email. Um... Play Store or uh, Google Plus. This is the way Google Plus looks. And I think, oh, Inbox is also themed. I'm not sure Hangouts is themed or not. No. All right, that's going to that's going to wrap this one up. Um, again guys, this is uh, team uh, team UB uh, that and the UB stands for unofficial build. Uh, that's their name, unofficial build. Um, it's an outstanding ROM. Um, I highly suggest you give it a shot. Uh, had, I I will put a link in the description for their Google Plus page uh, as I don't think they're on XDA. Uh, they may be I'm not 100% sure, but I will put the link to the um, to the Google Plus page. And, uh, oh, the last thing I wanted to do was uh, I wanted to check, since I show you themes, I wanted to make sure that 
uh, Google Plus or my um, my home launcher if I go to the Google Now home launcher that if I swipe yes okay I wanted to make sure that it themed that as well so it does all right um, I will see you on the next one and uh, you guys take care